that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with just as high as she can build it. She gets out of the way of all other predators. So nothing will bother her. Some time ago, I was in Cincinnati, Ohio, to the big zoo there. And they had just captured a big eagle and put it in a big cage. Well, I walked up, I heard all the beating and going on. And I walked down to show Sarah, I thought it was two birds fighting. But when I got down there, it was just one big eagle. He had no feathers hardly on the front of him. His face was all beat up. His wings was all beat out. And I watched the big fella, how restless he was with his wings out and them sore. And he walked across to one side of the cage and he'd get a big run. And he'd fly against that cage with all that was within him only to butt his head against it to fall back in the floor again. Lay there and shake his head a little. Get up. Go back again. And he'd look out. And then he would run just as hard as he could and beat his wings to rise and hit against the iron bars and fall back again. I walked up close I thought if I had a hat saw, I'd saw him out of there. <laughs> and as he laid there in his great eyes looking towards heaven, the blue skies above him, he was born to live in heaven. That's his nature, is to live high. And here he is with a cage over him. And he can't get up anymore. I thought that was one of the saddest sights I've nearly ever seen. I wanted to buy the bird. Well, they wouldn't let me have him. I felt so sorry for him. Here's a worse sight than that. There's men and women walking the streets that was born to be sons and daughters of God, living below their privilege, beating their brains out in nightclubs and everything else when they should be soaring the skies of God's great pleasure and power. They were born to be sons and daughters of God. What a sad sight to see a man made in the image of God walking down the street staggering under the influence of whiskey. To see a young man in his splendor and his graceful looks to see him down on the street with a cigarette in his hand, with his arm around a half-dressed girl somewhere. 
and living under his privileges. His soul bound in a cage of the devil's torment. A young woman half dressed, beautiful as she is. Oh, all fixed up and enough paint on her to paint a barn. Out somewhere laying around in the roadhouse when she was born to be a daughter of the Most High God. And she's living under her privilege. There's something in you that longs for God. As David said, As a heart thirst after the water brook, so my soul thirst after the old God. And you try to satisfy that blessed, holy thirst that God put in you, the thirst after Him, and you try to satisfy it with the things of this world. The devil is trying to make you quench that thirst by serving Him. You're born to be an eagle.